So here we are guys, we're gonna finish off now um, asking Care Regime. Um, we're going to do this little bit as if we were um, finishing off for our uh, daytime. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is spritz the skin. So I'm gonna use multi-active toner. Uh, I've just spritzed across the face. And the reason we do this is A, it's hydrating, and B, it actually helps the um, serums and moisturizers penetrate the skin so we get the full um, benefits from them. Uh, there are two other um, toners you can use. I haven't really talked about these. We've got Ultra Calming Mist, which basically is from the calming range. Uh, it is very calming, very soothing, will actually um, take down some redness on the skin if there's any redness. And we've also got uh, Antioxidant Hydro Mist, super super hydrating again as they all are um, but this one's also flash firming we've just got to remember not to get it onto the eyes when we're um, spraying it on so we need to cover our eyes um, when we spritz across the face so once we've spritzed um, we're then going to look at our serums so i'm going to use um, biolumin c this morning because i want a nice brightening effect on the skin so um with our little pipette, we're going to squeeze that onto our fingers and then we're going to tap our fingers together. And then once we've spread the serum across our fingers, we're going to gently tap across the head, a little bit on my top lip, chin, down the neck and across the decollete. Then we're just going to smooth. Between those eyebrows smoothing out and around coming up the neck and out across the decollete as well so there we are serum applied and you can see the skin's all um, already starting to look um, a little bit more luminescent um, then what i would do is actually uh, apply my eye cream so I'm going with Total Eye Care because we've got our um, light deflecting particles in there um, and we've also got our um, SPF in there to protect the eye area. Um, as we know, it's a very, very um, delicate area and we really only need a tiny little bit. So a grain of rice, that's all you need. You don't need a lot of this. So a tube this size, if you can imagine, if you're only using that much product, it's going to last you a long, long time. Along with all our products, um, really, you don't need a lot to do the job. So we've got it on both fingers, and then we're just going to tap along that bone underneath the eye and apply the cream. And then we're going to slowly just tap that cream in. And we're not going to come too close to the eye so we don't want to get it in the eye and already you can see that any sort of dark circles that are underneath the eye are starting to look better because of those light reflecting particles we're taking out to the side maybe up a little bit so all the eye area is actually there we go on helping with those dark circles so there's your eye cream next we're going to put on our moisturizer now you may choose a moisturizer um, with uh, our spfs in it um, but if you're using one that hasn't got an spf in it um, then um, you may choose to mix the two together um, which will weaken the um, intensity of the spf slightly um, or you can apply your moisturizer and then apply your spf so I'm going to do a little mixy-mixy today because I know I'm spending most of the day inside. So I've got my moisturiser and then I'm squeezing out my SPF and I'm mixing the two together. Sorry, mixing the two together, basically, so you can see what I'm doing. And then, just across my hands, I'm going to press pat onto the face, down the neck, across the decollete. And then we're going to smooth, smooth out. Remember when we've got our SPF on our eyes, so we don't need to go over the eye area, smoothing up the neck. 
like to come across the ears, just a little bit around the neck and then smooth out across the decollete. And there we are, we have our moisturiser. Now normally I let that sort of settle into the skin for a couple of minutes um, and then maybe I'm feeling I want a little bit more. Um, so um, I've got a choice of two uh, primers that I can use. I can use either Hydrobur primer, um, which just blurs those lines and um, it actually adapts to your natural skin tone uh, or their Skin Perfect Primer. So what I'm going to do for this video is apply half and half. So uh, the first one I'm going to apply is the Skin Perfect Primer. Now, the primer is just a sort of whitey colour, okay? Um, but as I say, it adapts to your skin colour. So I'm just going to apply a little bit there onto the back of my hand. That's lovely. Okay, so that's there. And then I'm going to take a tissue and I'm just going to rub across the back of my hand. And then as you can see on the tissue, um, the actual cream is then gone into the skin and changed to the natural skin tone. So uh, although there isn't any colour when you look at it, it is actually, um, it does slightly tint the face. So what I'm going to do is press pat this onto one side of my face. Okay, so this is a really lovely primer for underneath makeup. I don't think I can do half a nose, but anyway. And then we just smooth out. It gives a really nice base if you're then going to go on and apply makeup. Might want to come down the neck just a little bit. Now, there's no added SPF in this. And like I say, I'm going to come in a little bit closer. You can see it's just got those light reflecting particles and um, it adapts to your natural skin tone. So um, hopefully you can see the difference between one side and the other. Uh, so on the other side, I'm going to use Skin Perfect Primer. Now Skin Perfect Primer is part of the Age Smart range. Um, it has an SPF in it, um, so you're topping up that SPF. It's not enough on its own with just your moisturiser, um, but as dermatologists like to sort of um, say, they like to layer. So this will normally, most people don't use enough SPF, um, so you can use this and it will help um, boost that coverage to make sure. Now I've got some on my finger there, so I'm just going to tap it, spread it out, and I'm going to tap on the face. Now like I say, this has got a slight colouring in it, and up on the forehead. I'll do a bit of the end of my nose, because I've got a little red, little red nose today. It's a bit cold in my room, that's why. So then we're going to smooth out. Not coming too close to the eye. Now both of these you can use on their own without any makeup over the top. Or you can use them as a base, a primer to help your makeup last longer. So that's the Skin Perfect Primer. So hopefully you can see how the skin looks with both products. Sometimes the lighting in here isn't uh, fantastic. And I, I do know there's a little bit of waviness across the video sometimes. I've tried all sorts with the lighting to uh, get it to um, stop that, but I can't. So anyway, there you are. You're ready. You're definitely ready to go now. Um, and enjoy your day so i've um hope you've enjoyed that and uh, i'll do one more video to show you um how to uh, finish off um for your nighttime regime thank you very much ladies and and guys if any guys are watching <laughs> and i'll see you again soon